for a seven day trip this time. We're going into Cedar Lake, like I said, and then our first night is on Narrow Bag. Um, then we're heading into Hogan and we're spending two nights on Hogan and then we're heading out to Burnt Root and we're doing two nights on Burnt Root and then one night on Catfish. So five, uh, five days of actual traveling, two rest days for this seven day trip. It's the end of August and we've got quite a bit of heat uh, weather-wise for the beginning of the trip and then it should dip down um, significantly for the end of the trip. So uh, Emma's just uh, hanging out in the back there. <laughs> She's really excited. She's ready to go camping. So yeah, wish us luck. On the water on Cedar Lake. And I went for a swim. It's 11.22. So it took a little longer than we wanted it to, but uh, we left a little later than we wanted to as well. We left Toronto at 4.45. We actually left at 4.20 and then turned back twice because we forgot things. So a bit of a, a little bit of a bump in the road on our schedule. But uh, we're on the lake and it's a beautiful day. It's very hot, but the sun is hiding for now. So we're hoping it stays hidden um, for the entire day it would be great. <laughs> so paddling up to our first portage. Got a nice tailwind going. Hopefully all the big lakes are like this. Yeah, this is great. Headed to Petawa River. It's a 415 or 715? Oh, 715. 715. First portage with the new bag. Yeah. I don't think we could have filled it up any more or with any more heavier items. <laughs> it's very heavy. You gotta but drink it, the wine tonight. Yeah, we gotta drink. Well, I don't and, know. I was gonna save it. And the beer. <laughs> And Emma's, Emma, you gotta eat two meals <laughs> and all your treats. She shouldn't have a problem with that. All right, let's go. Let's go. I'm just taking a break to go check out the falls. Here, Petawawa River.
because it's so hot, we want to make sure Emma's swimming at the end of a portage for sure, or at any opportunity. I mean, we <laughs> let her do that anyway because it keeps her from jumping out of the canoe, but especially uh, today and probably tomorrow, the next couple of days are going to be really hot, so I want to make sure she's cool. This is Emma's new sun gear. Canada pooch bucket hat that we dunk in the lake. This is her first time wearing it out on a trip. We tried it on at home and she didn't seem to mind it. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, lie down. Emma, lie down. Whoa! There goes that hat. You don't want to put your ears through it, because that's kind of annoying. Lie down. Climb. Yeah, it does look a little stormy. So we're just coming up on the next portage, which is called Unicorn Hill. And it's supposed to be a lot of uphill, like intense. And it's very hot and we can hear thunder in the distance. So, hmm, might be thunder coming. We'll see. Stacks Rapids. Stacks Rapids. And this is Unicorn Hill. Unicorn Hill. Yes. I'm afraid of Unicorn Hill. It's supposed to be pretty tough. And our bags are very full and heavy. And it's really hot. Two thousand three hundred and forty five meter portage coming up. Ooh. We're going to get into some incline here. You can see it starting. I don't know quite how much will be. 
just keeps going gradually up and up until it goes up steeply <laughs> steep and then less steep and then steep but always up how you doing there all right yeah slow and steady someone gave up on their shirt it's too hot This thing just keeps going. Keeps going and going and going. It's not it's not that it's like really technical, it's just constant uphill. The beginning was a little technical, all the rocks. But uh, yeah, we may have mentioned a few times there's also a heat warning due to a heat wave <laughs> happening. Mm. Um it doesn't help. It's really hot. She's doing great though. She's been swimming. Yeah, she's warm, but she's, yeah, she, Emma, she just rolled around in the dirt for fun. So, she's having a great time. That's a poisonous mushroom? Looks like it. What kind? Could be a death cap. A death cap? Or, oh, what's the other one? I know any any mushroom, white mushroom with like a little veil, you should stay away from. Them. All right. You hear that, Emma? I just remembered it's called destroying angel. The mushroom that we saw is destroying angel. I think. You think? Yeah. I'm not an expert, but I know they look like that. Yeah. Similar. So don't eat white white mushrooms. Don't eat white mushrooms unless they look like little white puff balls. Or just, yeah, maybe don't, don't do it. Yeah, it's starting to go downhill more now. So we must be getting close to the end. sweaty. Bugs were biting pretty bad on that one. When we stopped to take a break, they really, really got us. I looked down at one point and I had six mosquitoes biting my calf. I'm not joking. Yeah, that sun is coming out now. It's really starting to come on cloud. Come this way. Come on cloud. We're rooting for you. It's funny, I was like thinking like, oh, I should put all my keys and wallet and everything in my life jacket because I'll never not put on my life jacket, but it's so hot. I'm like, I don't want to put on my life jacket. Yeah, I've never really had an issue putting on a, my life jacket either. I always put it on just because then you don't have to think about it and you never lose it or, you know be in an unsafe position, but it's so hot. The next portage was like 60 seconds away, <laughs> so we're here now. And this is the last one of the day, the fourth one. Yes, 170 meters, and then we're on our lake. Woohoo!
Jamie thinks there's a storm coming. Sure is. There's an anvil? Yeah. This, this cloud here is really high up. You can see the flat part. It's like a cumulus. Cumulus cloud, cumulonimbus. And when they get really tall, because it's all this hot air, hot humid air rising, and they get really tall, they start to kind of dissipate and it thins out at the top. It looks like an anvil. Usually the taller the cloud is, the more severe the storms are. So this one looks pretty tall, so it could be some thunder, some heavy rain, maybe hail. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I don't see anything. I see some clouds. But I trust you. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't look that bad, actually. Let's see when we get past these trees how bad it is. Okay, yeah. It's kind of covered a lot right now. But the site is somewhere here. Very calm and quiet. It's very, yeah, very nice. That's the site on Narrow Bag. It's really lily paddy and uh, steep and I don't really like it. So we actually had catfish booked originally. We had to change our booking uh, today at, uh, at the permit office because we actually delayed our trip by a day due to the heat. We just were worried about Emma. So we did actually originally have catfish booked um, for tonight until I guess literally a few hours ago, three hours ago, and there were a lot of openings still for campsites. So it's not that we're just changing our booking without doing it properly. Um, I mean, we kind of are, but we aren't. You can't, you can't, you don't want to steal someone's site, right? So if you didn't book it or change your booking, you shouldn't be changing where you're staying. But because we actually had a site booked until a couple hours ago there, um, and we know that there are a lot of them open, we're going to move on and go to Catfish. There's no way that they all got, or that even any of them got booked up um, by now. Just a couple hours. So one more small portage, making it five for today. Jamie's fishing the rapids right now, and we just had a bit of a snack. And we're taking a break. You know, it drives her nuts when he's fishing.
This looks like a nice site. Not too far from the portage we just came from. There's a really cool piece of white quartzite here, white and pink. It's a really cool rock. Just coming out of the ground there. Nice landing spot over here. Is that where the can is? Can's over there. It's far. Yeah, it's like up on the cliff. <laughs> it's steep up here. Yeah. Oh my. Oh wow. So, <laughs> so you gotta kind of balance on this. Little cliff. So it says. Look at all the flowers. I know the flowers are really pretty. So it says the first campsite on Catfish Lake south of the 80 meter portage to Narrow Bag Lake is studded with pink and white quartz. Yeah. That's this site. It's all in here too. Look, it's all. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's pink and white quartz. Really pretty. Mm -hmm. Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat, Emma? Do you want one? Okay. I'll go get one. Who's a pretty girl? Who's a pretty girl? Good girl. That's Jamie over there. He's actually going to another campsite to see if they have a cooking grate, an extra cooking grate, or one that we could borrow. Because there's no cooking grate here, and we've got a steak to cook tonight. So Jamie's off to find a cooking grate, and hopefully he's found one. I've got the fire going so that we can start building our coal bed for the steaks. You don't want to cook steaks over like a fire like this. You want nice hot coals. I put 
the tent up without the fly our plan is to put a tarp over the whole tent in case there are thunderstorms because they're calling for potential thunderstorms um, and just not put the fly on because we don't want Emma to get hot um, I mean she's gonna be hot we're all gonna be hot but maybe not sweltering I think that's Jamie's underwear and socks hanging behind me um, but we bought um, we've never done this before but we bought a USB uh, well it's chargeable by USB but it also takes batteries a tent fan um, so we're planning on hanging it in the tent and blowing it directly at Emma um, to circulate air but also give her some breeze she likes that a lot at home even when it's not um, hot so we'll see if she likes that today is going to be the hottest of the days in the entire week um, it's going to be close to as hot on some of the days but this is the hottest um i mean i am sitting right by the fire <laughs> not the brightest but i need to get some coals going for the steaks so i need to keep adding stuff to it so i'm around the fire so i am hot but even i went and laid in the tent for a second to try it out and there's no breeze <laughs> it's like a really still calm beautiful evening but it's hot it's it was uh 30 degrees today and feels like with the humidity and so on i think it was 38. God. are you hungry i sure am i hope so Yeah, the onions and the mushrooms were a good addition to our classic asparagus with mashed potatoes and steak. Mm-hmm. They made like a nice gravy. Yeah. Well, that was really good. Now we're just gonna do our dishes and then have some snacks and go to bed. So we had Emma's new fan set up last night, blowing on her. It definitely helped. Uh, she was still a little bit hot. We would give her some water and let her out for a bit, a couple times, but she did okay. Jamie's gone to collect some water. That's not shore water. I guess Emma wanted to go <laughs> for a paddle. just grabbing our food. I ended up buying a new rope for this trip. I've been using paracord, like 550 paracord, up until this trip. 
because we've only had five days of food and uh, before we didn't have a dog so we didn't have all that extra dog food weight but now with seven days and a dog and you know all of the camp comforts we're we're probably pushing close to like 45 50 pounds of food almost on our first day so this is uh, a four inch rope um, it has a core it's, it's it's built like a climbing rope it's not meant for climbing but it's built like a climbing rope and i think it can hold about 800 pounds or so so that's more than enough for for this application but even then i feel like i'm when it's you know kind of at length it's really stretching its limits and it was pretty tough to get this up there last night but uh hey there's no excuse even even with seven days of food you can still do a proper bear hang well away from any trees you can see that's you know at least 10 feet away from this tree just kind of floating out here and I, this no bear can climb this small tree here. It would just bend over. So yeah, totally safe. I mean, you shouldn't eat that. It's not good for you. Okay. Drop. Emma. Hey. Drop. Sit. So how did you sleep? Mm. It wasn't great. I was pretty much sweating all night. Mm -hmm. We, I wish I could have had some of that fan, but we gave it all to Emma. Yeah, we pointed the fan at her. That's why we got it. But I think it helped circulate the air in the tent a little bit. Yeah. What you got? Wow, nice one. How heavy is it? A bit lighter. <laughs> Every day, I just get a little lighter. Just a little bit lighter. Definitely feel the difference from like two pounds of steak, two tall cans of beer, and all those snacks. Yeah. So. I just recently got a haircut and I got, um, what are these things called again? What? Curtain bangs? I got curtain bangs. Cute when you can style them at home, but maybe less cute when you can't. We'll see what happens to them after seven days. Day two of seven.
Got some nice light rain. It's light right now. We'll see how it, how it stays. If it gets harder, but it's really refreshing. So there's a portage up ahead, but we think it's the wrong one. And we may have gone the wrong way. Might need to go more of that way. So we went the wrong way? Yeah, well, I didn't see any other options though. So we might be in trouble. Let's just see if there's like a little channel. Around these lily pads? There might be one over here. Sometimes they're really hidden, you know? But if not, then we'll have to go back. And if we still can't find it, then I don't know. We might have to go the long way. The long way? What do you want me to say? What you just said before I had the camera on. Jeff's map said that this area can be difficult to navigate in low water. So we might be in for an adventure. But I didn't know the water levels were low. I thought they were okay. So. Yeah, well, typically this time of year they're a little low, but they seem higher than normal. Well, let's find out. Okay, we found it, we think. I mean, we're gonna try it. Looks like someone has gone through here, through the lily pads. But it looks pretty thick. <laughs> so, let's see how it goes. tired too. I'm also trying not to like put my paddle in and destroy a ton of lily pads. That's impossible. I know, but if you try, 
But yeah, it's kind of thick paddling through. It's like paddling through a stew. A stew instead of like a broth. Instead of like a, like a chicken noodle soup. <laughs> More like a chunky chicken noodle. Yeah. Or maybe like a chunky beef. Chunky beef? Are you hungry? Yeah, I didn't have breakfast. Yeah. What? Left. Oh, here it is. It opens up here. Nice. Let's see. Look at it. Thick, thick, thick over there. Oh yeah, so it opens up. It would have been better if we saw a moose. It would have been better if we saw a moose? Yeah. Wouldn't everything be better if we saw a moose? Yeah, but especially there. It, was just, it seemed like prime moose habitat. So there's the portage up ahead. 1100 meter portage. Now I know why everyone does this loop the other way. <laughs> a brutal climb. Yeah. We're on Newt. And we won't be on here for very long till the next one. 700 meters to the next one. Snacks. 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 Finished the 750 Manta Lake from Newt. Having some snacks. It's a pretty spot for a break. Manitou to Hogan. That wouldn't have been so bad if I had known to like, keep going. Because as soon as I saw the water, I was like, yes. And I, you know that feeling where you're like, done. Yeah. There. And then you have like another kilometer to go. Yeah, that wasn't fun. I saw it too and I thought we were done. And then we weren't anywhere near done. But we are done now. And... Yeah, we're on Hogan. From Manta. Let's find a campsite. The loons are welcoming us. The loons are welcoming us? Where are they? I can't see them. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Hi loons. Okay. 
Lie down. Lie down. looks like a beauty site right across from these beautiful cliffs oh there's a way better put in down here oh yeah there's usually a pretty good put in at most sites we missed that we came in over there it's pretty rocky but look at this view So five hours. Yeah, five hours. We left just before 10 and it's just before three. So it's about five hours to get here. Yeah. And we like, we took a couple of short breaks, but we, we moved pretty much the whole time. Yeah. That's how you get the good sites like this one. Yeah, we just got it ahead of, I mean, yeah. they were. I, I feel bad. It was so close. I feel bad. Well, they, it didn't. We didn't know for sure they were on their way over here. I mean, they could have just been going that way. They were paddling in its general direction and we were kind of hugging the shore, coming from the opposite way. And I mean, we beat them here by like a good five minutes. So it wasn't that close, but you know, you always feel bad. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we didn't like cut in front of them or something. Yeah, it wasn't like a race to the finish line. We were just kind of coming from the other side. But hey, it's happened to us. Oh, yeah. People have no problem doing it to us. So it's, it's happened lots to us where we're going really far across an entire lake to get to a site. And, and then, then someone just kind of swoops in out of nowhere. Shows up at around or from around the corner. And we're like, oh. And you're like, no. <laughs> That's okay. There's a lot of open sites on this lake. They all look really good too. Yeah. I gotta clean all the mud off of my legs from the portage. You're so helpful. I love that chair. Oh yes, right where I need you to be. Yep. Count on her. Done. Let's get there, hang. Pretty high up. gonna boil some water for our dinner lasagna with meat sauce nice and easy and I'm gonna use the bush buddy I, I love the bush buddy I'm gonna go ahead and I've got some birch bark and twigs and different you know like little ones and bigger ones
wonder if you can get up there somewhere. Or from the back. Yeah, I looked it up. It's in Josh Maps. Mm -hmm. We gotta stop it. The crater looked out on the way back. Mm -hmm. I heard it's not bad. Really? Not bad. 